We all know what happens at Grey's Anatomy. Heartbreak, tears, and drama. But once the cameras aren't rolling, everything changes. The pranks, weird stories, singing, and of course, dancing it out. Someone page ortho, because we're about to break a funny bone. Can you believe that there's someone out there who never watches Grey's Anatomy? It's true! Her name is Ellen Pompeo. Despite being the star of the franchise, the actress has admitted that she never watches an episode because she just doesn't have the time. Or because she's got other priorities. I've been watching Cardi B on Instagram. Could you please? I have more important things to do. But just because she's not a super fan doesn't mean the rest of the world isn't. Thankfully, Ellen's colleagues understand our obsession and our curiosity. Which is why they're willing to share what it's really like behind the scenes at Grey's. Honestly, it looks nothing like we expected. Firstly, these guys have to constantly remind people that they're not actually doctors. I've had a few appointments with doctors, you know, mm. where they've been like, you know what I'm talking about, and I'm going, yeah, 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 and I don't. <laughs> Instead, they're just really convincing actors. I have been looked at on a plane at when they go, is there a doctor on the plane? And the reason they're so good at pretending is because they put in a lot of work, starting with a COVID test. Three times a week, we test. Before hair, makeup, and wardrobe. I'm on our way to rehearsal. That's why my hair is not did. <laughs> but these days, the makeup trailer isn't like it used to be. Pre-COVID, it was occasionally hostile territory. Although now, the trailer is strictly locked down. That means no talking or touching. Once these guys are looking the part, it's time for the real magic, even if it means a little weekend work. We know you want some Shmiko scenes, so we're doing it. <laughs> Here we are. Or the occasional night shift. The best part about working in a fake hospital is that when you get tired, you can just take a nap. But just because the work is hard doesn't mean there's no time for a little fun. Want to know a secret? We got Secrets. all the secrets. This hair is a secret. For every dramatic scene we see on screen, there are hours of practice and serious study. Well, some of the time. Unlike other medical shows, Grey's Anatomy has a few things going for it. Longevity, realism, connections, and of course, a gracious cast. That's some bullshit, the good doctor. <laughs> but seriously, who needs medical school when you have directing school, courtesy of Shondaland? Grey's creator Shonda Rhimes doesn't just let the cast act in this show. She gives them ownership through their creative expression, which keeps the storylines fresh and fun. It also has the added advantage of allowing the crew to test and improve their skills. And you're pregnant as the, at the same time as Beyonce. When is that ever going to happen again, Camilla? And the lessons aren't limited to behind the camera. To ensure they really look like surgeons, the cast has to do their research and practice. It's serious business with serious consequences. We have one of our critics right here on the table right now. This is what happens when you pan our show. Thankfully, they're now so good at playing convincing doctors that they can teach the rest of us how it's done. You put the gown on, and then you put the gloves on, like and then you tie dancing, your thing. Boy. Yep, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> even if they are a little squeamish in real life. Ooh, ah! Then again, not all skills are as easy to master, so it's a good thing that Gray Sloan is a teaching hospital. Yes! Clear! Oh. <laughs> wow. Almost not as good as I thought it would. But rehearsals aren't just for medical procedures. These guys are multi-talented and never miss a chance to show off their other talents. In fact, there's a tradition on the set of Greys that, until now, has been a secret. And it has nothing to do with doctoring. It's the annual eating contest. But you get to watch all these glamorous people in makeup, pigging out with no hands, trying to eat banana splits and hot dogs. It's really unpleasant. Some of the cast take this competition very seriously, and practice starts way before the event. I drink a lot of fit tea. All the time. But an obsession with anatomy of the stomach isn't the only skill shared by the whole cast. There's a reason we're treated to musical episodes and dancing it out. Sarah Ramirez may have wowed audiences with her singing in Grey's musical episode, but she's just one of many cast members with musical talent. In fact, with all the skills the cast have, they could basically become a band. There's a guitarist, several vocalists, oh. Ja -ja. Then a bunch of backup dancers. Hey! Ah! Hey! <laughs> hey! Okay, that's it. So all they need now is a band name. 
how about how to save a song? Jokes aside though, it's time to talk about the most important part of this medical show, the chemistry. The complex relationships and drama we see on screen aren't always what they seem. In fact, there's been almost as much drama behind the scenes of Grey's as we see in each episode. Something that you're supposed to like, but that you actually find slightly annoying. Fooled ya! It's not all bad. In fact, some lifelong friendships have been made on set. Just ask Kevin McKidd and Sandra Oh. The Scottish actor once told Glamour, you know when you meet someone and become fast, fast friends? That was me and her. They were so close that when Sandra Oh left the show, she resorted to thievery to ensure you had something to remind her of her on-screen hubby. The actress told People Magazine, the best thing I've ever taken from a set is the rug in Owen and Christina's apartment on Grey's Anatomy before they broke up. It's in my living room. And Kevin was just as taken with her. In fact, he even tried to use his friendship with the actress to convince Sandra to come back to the show. Sadly, she turned him down and broke our hearts. But at least we got a bunch of other returns on the beach. Even though the beach is gone, it doesn't mean there won't be any more returns, because we have an epic comeback to look forward to. Surprise, I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. This return might just spell drama for Meredith Grey, but it's a fantastic blast from the past for Ellen Pompeo. As surprising as this may be, the actress is actually really close to Kate Walsh in real life. In fact, they still joke about the awkward way their characters met on set. And while that's really cool, I have something to admit. Our favorite Grey's friendship is one we hardly ever see on screen, between Ellen Pompeo and Camilla Luddington. We're probably not the only ones, judging by the reaction of paparazzi. I wish everybody would stop staring. Oh yeah, while we're talking about favorites, admit it, you have a favorite episode of Grey's Anatomy, and likely also an episode you'll refuse to watch unless you need the assistance of a wambulance. That's okay, you're not alone. It turns out that some Shondaland surgeons feel exactly the same way, because not all plots are created equal. When asked about their best and worst episodes to have filmed, the Great Sloan staff gave some surprising answers. While Chandra Wilson and James Pickens Jr. both chose their characters' weddings as their best filming days, others had different answers. For Kim Raver, who plays Teddy, cheating on Owen was as hard to film as it was for us to watch. When it came to leaving that voicemail on Owen's phone, the actress couldn't help but cringe. And that makes it even more interesting that the actress's most memorable scene to film was the one that redeemed her character, the episode when Teddy found out she was pregnant. If only Kevin McKidd felt the same way. His best and worst memories were tied to Sandra O. Oh. The highlight was Christina and Owen's wedding, while the saddest thing he ever filmed was Christina leaving. We agree. Somebody's to take me! By the way, that line just happens to be Ellen Pompeo's favorite quote from the entire series. But what about her most memorable scenes? Shockingly, those aren't linked to her person, but they are linked to McDreamy. Ellen loved filming the posted wedding vow scene, but had tried to block out the awful memories from her worst day of filming, Derek's death. It must have been a tough choice for Ellen, because honestly, Meredith didn't become all dark and twisty from having an easy life. Thankfully, the actress has ways of getting through those dark filming days with a little help and distraction from her friends. Okay, are you sure that we can like tan under these? For even more Grey's hilarity, check out some of our other videos. Thanks so much for watching.